Did I just see you slightly glance your eyes at my computer screen? Me and Miss Johnson are tight. I could get you in serious trouble. Miss <gasps> Johnson! Miss Johnson! Hi, Mr. Smith. Um, it says homework on the board, but you didn't pass anything out. Oh my god, I'm not mad. I just care about my learning. <laughs> Mrs. Anderson's teaching, guys. Don't look at my paper, stupid bitch. You and your 1300. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Nothing to see here. Why are you holding a binder against your head? Put it down. Okay, but don't laugh. Hi, everyone. You shaved your head? I had lice! But I'm not one of those people that looks good bald. I look like Howie Mandel and Caillou gave birth to a thumb. <laughs> Isn't there like an other option? No, boy. I, I shaved my head because my mom couldn't find any lice shampoo anywhere. She looked everywhere for it. <laughs> oh, uh, I have some in my house you could have borrowed. Seriously, Becky. Teacher! Teacher! Let me take the attendance for you. Let me take it to the office. Miss Johnson, thank you so much for allowing me to sit at the front of the class. Closest to you. I know the answer! No, I don't. I'll Shh! Did you not hear? She just said, be quiet. Guys, everyone, shut up. Have some respect. If no one else wants to read, I I'm happy to take over. I I'll... Oh, happily, I'll read. Yeah, sure, let me just start here and read the whole page. Sure. Miss, do you need help handing out those papers around the class? Yeah, sure, I can I can do that. Um, I actually just finished my maths work early, so if you want, I can actually just go around and help some other students answer their questions, yeah. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of people with their hands up, a lot of people are quite confused. I don't know how, it's quite a simple, simple couple of problems there, but I can, I can help, yeah, obviously. And now are you going to clap? Have some respect, guys. Have some respect. I, I know I'm not the teacher, but, like, I kind of, like, I am, like, um, I mean. Wait, miss, I'm grading Michael's test, and he wrote down 28.23 as the answer. Does that count? But, miss, in the instructions, it says to round all answers to the nearest tenth. But here, he rounded his answer to the nearest hundredth. Does it still count? But miss, the answer's wrong. Should I just give him like half a point? Miss, are you sure? <sighs> okay, this is why the class average is so high. <sighs> yeah, Miss Taylor, I finished, I finished. Yeah, I finished all the work already. Oh. oh. Oh, wow. Am I, am I the first one t to finish? Yeah. And, and Miss Taylor, you said not to do number 20, right? Because, because it was too difficult? I did it. I, I did 20. And, and I still managed to, to finish first of, before anyone else. I, I thought number 20 was easy. I, I thought number 20 was really easy. Yeah. And I did, I did everything. And I, and I finished, I finished first, I was, I was the first one to finish. Yeah. Good morning, isn't this a wonderful day to learn? What's that? This is the seat your friend sits in? Oh, well I don't remember the teacher giving us assigned seats, and I don't see your friend's name on the seat, so I can sit here. You can tell your friend to go sit somewhere else. Hi miss, I hope you're having a wonderful morning. What are we doing today? A 40-minute lecture? Yes, that sounds like so much fun. Hey, pay attention. I saw you staring at that wall for 20 seconds, which means that you were daydreaming and not paying attention to the teacher. Do you know how much work she puts into these presentations? Unbelievable. Excuse me, miss. Did you see that? They were daydreaming, which means they were not paying attention to your wonderful presentation. And I am so sorry for that. You need to give them an F for the day. Good morning, Miss Smith. How are you on this lovely day at school? Good, good to hear. Well, anyways, I made you this snow globe. Yes, I made it. Does it not look like I made this? Oh, God. I made you a snow globe to thank you for being such a great teacher. No problem, no problem. What do you want? You want the homework answers? Um, no. See, I took the time out of my night to do my own homework, and you didn't do that, and that's on you. So, sorry, but that would be cheating, and I don't cheat. Me, me, I know the answer. Yes. I got x equals 5. 
That's right. Yes, I'm so good. Hey, we're taking a test. Oh, God. Are you eating during a test? Miss Smith, do you see this? That's not allowed. You should be thrown out of school. Ew, and get those away from me. Excuse me, I have a quick question for you. What's that? Your friend was sitting here? Don't worry, I'm more important than your friend. Now, would you let... Excuse me, Michael? Michael, I'm having a private conversation. You need to go away right now. Michael, I asked you nicely. Miss, miss, tell Michael to go away. I asked him to go away nicely, and he won't go away. Thank you, miss. Anyways, as I was saying... Would you like to go to prom with me? No? Oh. oh, I think I know why you don't want to go to prom with me. You're afraid that I'm going to spend the entire night with the teacher. That is simply not true. I'm only going to be spending half of the night with the teacher, and the other half will be reserved just for you. What do you say? Still no? No, no, no. That is not possible. That is illegal, actually. I'm going to tell the teacher. Miss, 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 they won't go to prom with me. Miss, you need to make them go to prom with me. Yes, Mrs. Bennett? You're heading to the restroom? Do you want me to take control of the class and report to you about what happens while you're gone? Sounds good. Okay, guys, since Mrs. Bennett is gone, I am in control of the classroom. So you must A, obey whatever I say, and two, respect me. Got it? Okay. Girls, you are way too loud. I'm trying to do my algebra work, but I can't focus when you guys are yapping. Zip it. John, why are you making paper airplanes? Who are you intending to throw those at? Don't do it or else I will report you. <gasps> Miss Bennett, thank God you're back. This class was terribly behaved. Becky and Julia were talking so loud and John was throwing paper airplanes at people. They deserve to be punished. Becky? Yeah? I can clearly hear the sound oozing from your headphones. Okay. No, no, seriously, please get that checked out. Like, my sister's headphones oozed as well, and now she can only hear out of her nostrils. So, are you watching Netflix in class? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Why can I see the inside of someone's stomach? It's crazy now. <laughs> please provide a trigger warning next time. Just, like, something, like, audibly... T-T-W, like, something like that, because... Uh, okay. uh, um, what? I can see a mozzarella steak. No, please, I can can't. Mom, shut up! I'm on a date with Mr. Smith! So, I pinned him, so we're basically engaged. <laughs> um, I'm picturing us eating at an re elegant restaurant in Paris where he just divorced his wife of seven years and is running away with me. <laughs> what's, what's on the menu? Cheetos. <laughs> oh, Emily, you are the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> Mr. Smith, you don't think I'm eating too much or have Cheeto dust on my fingers? <laughs> the dust looks like you just got a spray tan, but only on your fingertips. It's absolutely beautiful. Emily, we can clearly <laughs> hear everything you're saying. Wow, uh, what do we um, have in here? Are you here? looking? <gasps> Ashley, uh, what is this? That's my epi pen. No mechanical pencils allowed in the school since uh, last year's incident when Jeremy used his mechanical pencil as a needle in a drawing presentation and stabbed Carly in the arm and she got uh, lead poisoning and the family sued the school. Oh my god. That's why we don't have uh, chairs attached to our desks anymore. Mm -hmm. The school can't afford it. So we just had to kind of have to squat for six hours. Just Excuse me? Who is that standing next to you? That's your mother? She looks like she's older than the dinosaurs. Guess what? The 1700s called, and they want your mother's dress back. <laughs> Do you get it? It's because your mother's dress looks like it's from the 1700s. <laughs> Funny joke, right? Before you go, ma'am, I just need to let you know that your child is the most rude and disrespectful person I've ever met, and you need to punish them severely because our teacher will not do that for whatever reason. Speaking of our teacher, where is our teacher? She's not here today? How do you know that? Because your mother's a substitute teacher? I am so sorry. I did not mean to offend you. I, I was joking. We, we were joking around. I do this with all the teachers. <laughs> you want me to go to the principal's office? Okay, that makes sense. Once again, I am terribly sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know why the teacher wanted to talk to us after class? Oh, you have no idea? That's weird, isn't it? Oh, miss, there you are. So why did you want to talk to us? Oh, you have something to tell us? Okay, what is it? 
I'm getting expelled? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? I'm not really getting expelled, right? I am getting expelled? This can't be happening. No, no. For what? For being a bully? No, no, no. This can't be happening. Stop laughing. This is not right. Something's wrong. I can't get expelled. No, please, miss. <sighs> Can I at least say something to them before I get removed from the school? Okay, thank you. It's time to wake up. You've been sleeping for five minutes now. It's time to wake up. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. There we go. Sleeping Beauty finally woke up. Do you know how much information you missed in the five minutes you were asleep? You missed a lot. Oh, what's that? You had a dream about me? Oh, what happened in that dream? I got expelled? Well, that's why it's called dream then. Because I will never get expelled. Never. Morning, miss. Yes, I'm aware of the time. I know I'm an hour early to school, but I always see you in here by yourself, and I thought maybe you wanted some company. And you've been a bit unorganized with the lessons, so I thought I could help you out, you know? Like... Oh, everyone's coming in now. But it was a lovely chat, aunt. And I was gonna... Oh, it's fine, I'll go to my seat. No homework. Oh, miss, I told you I'm organised. Look, I got everyone practice papers to do. I printed them myself, so I'll hand them around. What do you mean no, there's no homework for half term? I don't understand. Everyone will fail otherwise. I get it's Christmas, but we have mocks in two years. So. I'm trying to learn, unlike you, so can you please keep it down? I'm not a teacher's pet. I'm just trying to learn, I want to pass. 